Morning everybody, day three of my angle with the uh, air cast on it, as you can see. So, right there. So, uh, yeah, I wanted to make another video and just uh, fill you guys in on uh, what's been going on. And uh, so far, not a lot. As I said, yesterday was a slow day, and it's going to be another slow day today as well. Um, I'm going to see if I can move around just a little bit with this with this uh, uh, cast on my foot. Because, um, yeah, I mean... So far, it's it's going pretty. It's it's okay. I mean, I can walk on it. There's no. It doesn't hurt. Only if I move it side to side, which is why I have the cast on. So, um, I uh, I got a couple questions. Of, well, I I have one question I should say, and uh, I have a I had a a couple comments um, from the video that I that I took yesterday, as well as. Um, you know, some nice, nice little comments when I uh, posted up pictures on Facebook in regards to how I'm doing. Um, uh, one of them was, um, uh, a comment from a friend of mine who's, who's known as, uh, Random Squeakers on Tumblr was, uh, give, uh, she basically just said, you know, some sympathy for, uh, she gave me some sympathy for, for my foot and, uh, because she's also going to get, uh, her foot surgery, uh, I think coming up pretty soon in about a week or so. She has to get her uh, her left foot um, broken because it because it healed wrong. So that's what. So she's going to get surgery. So I hope that I hope you squeakers have a have an awesome surgery and you have a quick recovery. Even though we know that it's going to take a while for that foot to fully heal. So speedy speedy recovery for you and hopefully uh, you will get better. So to you. Okay. And uh, when I posted some pictures on Facebook in regards to how my foot looks and everything like that, uh, I was given some nice, nice comments and uh, for uh, for sympathy and things like that. And I want to say thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, you know, I, I... <laughs> kind of a weird thing to weird thing to say, uh, but like you know, just thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, I appreciate your kindness, and I appreciate everything um, that you guys say and do. So, um, and then uh, I was also given a, uh, uh, you know, get well wishes and things like that, and I couldn't be much happier. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm glad, glad you guys are. Uh, thank you for your concern. Um, I'm doing fine. It's all good. Uh, just uh, gotta stay low, and uh, hopefully this thing heals uh, quicker than quicker, quicker than ever. So. Yeah, because as long as I have this cast on here and I keep uh, icing it as much as I can, that's not the right foot. That's the right foot. Sorry, I'm pointing at the wrong foot. Um, yeah, as long as I um, keep icing it, keep it up, uh, elevated, you know, um, exercise a little bit by you know putting some weight on or something like that, it should be just fine. And then uh, okay, so I have one comment that was given by Space Space Raider HD Lee. Or was it Space Raider Lee HD? I can't remember. But uh, he asked, um, why did I start YouTube? Which is a very good question. Very good, very good question to ask. The reason I started YouTube was because I wanted to share my happiness with others. And you probably already know that from, from previous uh, vlogs. But for those who don't, here is a good, um, good explanation. So I'm gonna tilt this a little bit so you guys can have some flowers here because they're they're pretty they're they're nice and pretty. So the reason I started YouTube was because I wanted to share my experience. Back when I was a kid, um, like oh man, like in in my early teens and early childhood, I played games with my friends all the time, and when when the when we would play games together, it was so much fun. It was just, it was like, it, that was like a good, a good joyful moment, you know. And not just my friends, but my family as well. My my family used to play games all the time with me, and um, you know, we would, we would enjoy ourselves with like games like, um, oh, Batman Returns on Super NES. Then we would also play like wrestling on, uh, on um, uh, Sega Genesis. Uh, my dad used to play Sonic Spinball and Tasmania on Sega Genesis so many, so much. And um, I think one of our one of our most favorite games for for the whole family is Tetris on the NES. Funny thing was that we never owned the game; we've we've always just rented it, which is weird. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it just we we're a big fan of the classics, and um, and you know I've always I've always loved classic games, 
and I play them as much as I can. Um, including the Mario Brothers for, like, NES and all that sort of stuff. And when I saw that, you know, there was this opportunity on YouTube to be able to uh, play uh, these kind of games and capture it on, on, on digital and being able to share it with the world rather than just one or two people, that's something that really motivated me to do something like this because, you know, excuse me, I've never had something like that. My family and I never had that opportunity when I was when when I was little, and uh, when we were, when we were all younger, you know, it was always like like even cell phones cell phones didn't come into the market until sometime in the nineties, like like late nineties early two thousands. Cell phones were uh, were not even around uh, when those classics came out, so we were just we were just getting into the digital age pretty much. Show us how old I am, <laughs> but um, but yeah, I mean that's the biggest reason why I wanted to go into YouTube was to share my experience with everyone, and to basically make videos for everyone who wanted to just be entertained. It's it's something that fulfills a sort of need, if that makes sense. It's a need that that that. It's almost like I want to provide entertainment for those who are trying to find those who are seeking to be amused or seeking to have some sort of kind word or some sort of happiness. So, like, um, like I know for a fact that people, people, and you know, I look up to him as well, and uh, people look up to Markiplier because he's so kind, and he's and he's probably one of the best YouTubers out there because of how much he interacts with his, uh, with his, you know, his fans, the people who who are subscribed to him and watch his videos, you know, and I look up to him as well because, well, he helped me, he inspired me to make this channel, as much as PewDiePie has, and as much as uh, Cinnamon Toast Ken and and many others have. So, it's just. It was it was interesting for me to have to figure out how to start my own channel, and it was something. It wasn't really that easy at first because I had to try and figure it all out myself, because like none of my family really knew how. So it was like a three year process to try and figure out what to do. <laughs> at the same time, working um, working uh, as as a um, oh man, working as an assistant manager at Burger King. I had no product placements. Um, because like, it wasn't until 2012 that I suddenly realized that I wanted to do this sort of thing. And I never really took it, took it seriously until just, uh, late last year. But, um, if you want me to go into more detail, I'll just say that I just wanted to start my own YouTube channel because I love video games. I love playing video games, but more importantly, I love sharing my experience. I love playing games with my friends. I love sharing that's what it is and you know the, and the thing is too is that when people when when people would would ask others it's like are you a kind person are you a gentle person are you willing to provide your own opinion on things when people say something how are you towards comments and things like that that are very hateful and mean you know that sort of thing that's something my family would ask me and i'd say um you know there's really nothing else you can do you just either one, like when it comes to sorry, I'm I don't want to get off topic. Like like when when it comes to mean people, I always do this first. One, read it carefully. Two, assess the comment, assess the situation. Three, find out the most meaningful and most diplomatic way to answer it. And four, answer it so that it doesn't feed. Well, I might as well just say it, it doesn't feed the troll. Like, make it calm, cool, and collective. And also use the KISS method. Keep it simple, stupid. And I use that a lot. Before, I didn't. <laughs> and it would cause a lot of trouble. So, um, so that was why I started my own YouTube channel. Was be, uh, so, yeah. Why did I start my own YouTube channel? To share my happiness with others. And if anybody has any kind of, any kind of com uh, comments, questions, or anything like that, you know, they can always come ask me, and I will provide you an opinion and also some answers in regards to what you want 
to know about. And that, you know, you want some kindness, you want some gentleness from a person who takes what he does seriously, but not serious to the point where you can't have fun. Because that's the biggest thing, is that I always want to have fun with everything that I do. So. <laughs> and when did I start my YouTube channel? Well, it was back in uh, 2012. I can't really remember what, what month it was. I think it was January, I'm pretty sure. But my first video was, um, was uh, the Shadow of the Colossus game. And I made that one quite a while ago. And then the second video after that was, was uh, something from The Last of Us. It was the first episode of, of The Last of Us. That's what it was. And um, while those two videos are in, the, are in my library, I, I, I'm going to keep them up there. But I've been debating on removing them because, you know, it was, it was directly from that time until 2014 is when I actually started getting serious with the channel. So, and um, I can't really remember off my, off by chance when that video was that I, that I t was serious about. It's in one of my vlogs anyway, so. But, yeah, that's when I started YouTube. And it's something that I've never looked, I've never looked back since. Because it's something that I've always wanted to do in my life. I just never realized it until, until last year. Because from 2012 to 2014, it was a very confusing time for me. I didn't know what I wanted to do. So, all right. Um, but that's basically it. That's, that's pretty much all I've got. I, otherwise, I, got, I had like nice comments and um, and uh, silly little things from my family. So, <laughs> but that's that's all. It basically, is you know, there's always something good coming out of the bad. And I always have people supporting me, and I have my family that supports me, I have my friends that support me, I have you guys that support me, and I'm really, really thankful that, that you guys are here. And I really, really just, I can't think of words right now, because, well, one thing, I'm, I just can't. <laughs> I'm just happy. I'm happy where I am. I'm happy that uh, I'm able to share uh, with you guys of my experiences and things like that. Look, I got my Markiplier's hero shirt. <laughs> um, so, I want you guys to stay strong, keep at it. You know, you guys mean everything to me. Because if it wasn't for you guys, I would not be here. You know? If you do get a chance to see this video, please know that, you know, there are a lot of YouTubers out there who don't agree with the whole you know, my subscribers are, are everything to me. I did this all on my own. Bull. Absolute bull. You guys are what make the difference. If you guys want a nice, kind person you ever want to talk to, you just let me know. Let me know what games you like so that I know exactly what to make. And, you know, if you're interested, tweet me up. Use the Facebook. Tumblr if you want. I'll have the links ready for you. And I want you all to have yourselves a great day, and we'll see you all tomorrow. This ankle isn't going anywhere, so <laughs> we'll see what happens, right? Okay. You, you guys are all lovely. You take care of yourselves, and we'll see you later. High five.